What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be going over the best setup for Greninja and showing off how to use them on the rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. It really does go a long way, so I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. Also guys, if you want to catch more content from me, make sure you head down to the link in the description below. There's a link to my Twitch page. Your boy's streaming five plus days every single week. So go follow me over there. Turn on those notifications, Jeans25 on Twitch. But to get started with this video, we're going to be going over the items for Greninja or what I think the best items for Greninja is. Considering this Pokemon is so versatile, he can play top lane or he can play bottom lane and jungler. I like him in the jungle. I think that's where he thrives the best, but he's so versatile, you can really use him anywhere. But we're going to go down into our battle prep and go check out our health items and these are the three items that i like for grand ninja to have the shell bell the float zone and the energy amplifier so if we go over to here i'm going to give you guys a description and show why they are really good for this pokemon so first item we got the shell bell when the pokemon hits with a move it recovers a minimum of 45 hp so every time he hits we recover hp also i'm leveling up these items they're not maxed out yet but these are the boosts that they get when they're starting to get leveled up gives grand ninja a special attack boost and it minuses his cooldown and that is huge any item that like takes off cooldown lets you get your moves faster, lets you do more damage, and just all around great. We're also giving this Pokemon the Float Stone, and the Float Stone increases movement speed by 10% when the Pokemon is not in combat. That is amazing considering Gren Ninja is used for fast, pace battle, range attacker. He just wants to get in, get out, dip back, and kind of help out allied Pokemon. This Float Stone also gives a boost of attack and movement speed. So we're going to be able to move quick, deal some big damage, and win us the battle. Final item that I like to have Gren Ninja to hold is the Energy Amplifier. So this... Whenever you use a Unite move, the damage to the other Pokemon get increased for 7%. So once I use a Unite move, I'm going to be able to hit even harder. So I'll Unite move, deal big damage, and then be able to deal even more damage after that. This thing also boosts your Unite move charge rate and your cooldown on your moves by about 1%, which is amazing. But again, these are not leveled up to max. They can go up to level 20. I got it 7, 6, and 6. So they can get more boost from there. But... Next thing I'm going to go over is the moveset on Greninja and what I like to use and personally what I think the best moveset on Greninja is. So I actually got to go over to Pokemon, click on this so I can go check out his moveset and hit A and how do you check moveset? There's a way. Oh, move description right here. Okay, so here is his first two moves. He can either learn bubble or substitute right off the rip. Best move to get right off the rip is going to be Bubble. That's his attacking move. You just get that so you can kill some wild Pokemon, get your levels up, and farm really quick, and just get a lot stronger. Next, you're obviously going to get Substitute because that is guaranteed second move. But when you go into there, you want to either get Surf or Water Shrekken. And what my recommendation is, Water Shrekken is the best move. If you can land your shots with Water Shrekken, considering you got to have really good aim, it will deal more damage, plus you get HP back. So we'll go over the description for that. It throws Shrekens made of water in quick succession, decreases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon, which is huge, and it also restores the HP when it hits. So we, when we throw them, we get HP back as well. So I think Water Shrekken is the best move. But if you guys don't feel confident in your shots, make sure you go with Surf. You can rock out with that. That is just like an automatic kind of hitting move. No, it's not automatic hitting, but it's a melee. It's up close, and it's a lot easier to learn or land. Uh, next move could either be double team or smoke screen. I think both these work really well It's more so just preference, but personally I like smoke screens because you get a lot more effect to it Double team splits you up into like three different grand ninjas and throws out decoys so you can get out of certain situations and smoke screen is also a dash But it increases your attack for a short period of time So I really like that. I really like to use that and rock out from there and then you guys know his unite move It's just a giant Water unite movie just throws down a giant shrek in a big area and does a lot of damage but Guys, let's get after it. I really want to show off this Pokemon in the jungle and top lane, so we're going to hop into the first battle, and I'll see you guys there. So we were able to lock in Greninja, and one thing that I didn't go over is his held item, or his battle item. We went over his held items, but his battle item. Right now, I don't really have all the battle items, so I'm just going to be rocking the uh, potion, considering this Pokemon is very squishy, but he hits like a truck. So the potion can give us a little bit more HP when we're in a pinch, so I'm going to be rocking out with that. But I think maybe eject button could be the best. Could be the best for Greninja. Let me know in the uh, comment section down below what you guys think. But we have Zoroar on his team, and he's claiming the central path. You really only want one jungler, so we're going to be rocking out in the top lane with Greninja. Like I said, I want to get two battles in, one going in top or bottom lane, and the next one showing them off in the jungle. So we're going to go top lane here, try to get ourselves a win, and show off this Pokemon to the fullest potential. But Zoroar is, like, broken right now. I think he might be one of the best Pokemon in the game. I really do think he is one of the best Pokemon in the game. He's just really strong, and he is one of the best junglers. Grenade's just great in the jungle, but like I said, he's so versatile, you can use him top or bottom lane. So Roar is just mainly like, you throw him in the jungle, and he'll do work. 
So I'm gonna go top lane. Hopefully the Snorlax comes with me. And we split me and the Cinderace. So we have two strong attackers, range attackers, with two like defensive tanks with us. I think we can rock out with that and get ourselves a win here. But we are in, uh, I think, great rank. I haven't been grinding this game too much. I stream a little bit every single day when I don't have work. But days that I do have work, I stream just like a little bit. And then days I don't have work, I'll be doing longer streams. So make sure you guys hit that follow button down in the description below. It really does go a long way. And I would love to see you guys in a live stream. But let's see. Let's see how we're going to do this one. So like I said when I was doing the move, uh, when I was talking about the moves, we're going to learn bubble right off the rip. Good old bubble. And I'm just gonna go up here. The reason you want to learn bubble is because it just you can just farm easier. And really, that's why I took my kill. And we're looking really good here. I like how this team is working here. Of course, I missed my bubble, but I'll take that kill. But like I said, Grand Ninja is such a good Pokemon if you can land attacks. Oh, we'll take that kill too. We are just farming up here. Oh, yes, sir. Let's go take out. There should be an Apom spawn here. Yes, sir. Come here, baby. Come here. And he's gonna take out the Corefish. Oh, I'm gonna take out the Corefish. Come here. Give me that. But right now, you just want to farm enemies. Especially in rank, you don't want to push up and just go for kills. You really want to play strategic and not really try to push up on people until you know you can get the kill. So there's this guy right here. I'm going to learn my substitute. I'm going to throw my bubble out there. Miss it up. But it's all good. I'm going to dip out here. And yo, Snorlax, get back here, please. He is very tanky, so he should be fine. And look at him. He's just resting and uh, getting some HP back. So we're going to be playing this one slow, trying to get some levels. And oh, our Cinderace is popping off. So not bad right off the rip. I don't want to go too too far in here. And yo, you e bubbed me. So I got to stay back. Let me just send my potion. There's some bubbles over there. I'm going to dip back a little bit and go grab ourselves a citrus berry. So this guy actually sent his e eject button, which is pretty cool. Come here. Yo, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Come here, Pikachu. Oh, we got this Pikachu in the bag here. Do we? I'm going to dash up. Come here, Pikachu. Come on. Can I get him? Come on. No. Yo, I just missed him. But Snorlax was actually able to pick up the KO, which is huge for us. So Pikachu is now sitting under tower, so we're not really going to mess with him right now. But he's just getting HP, and that is not the call. So we're just going to farm up these little enemies and uh, try to level up. And one thing we do have to watch out for is the jungler coming in. Because if the jungler comes in, then he can actually pick up a KO and just sneak it off on us. I'm just going to level up, grab some Pokeballs, and try to get a chance to score here. Because that's my main goal. I really don't care about kills when I'm playing ranked. I care more so about just leveling up and actually uh, winning the game. So he's back and about. I'm going to send my potion here. And I'm going to go dip back a little bit and grab myself some nice little citrus berry. And then I can actually hop up here and just sit behind the Snorlax. And then send this bubble. And we're going to tee off on this Pikachu. Come here, Pikachu. Actually, just going to dip out here and try to get this Pikachu. Can I get him? I think I got him. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Get rid of that Pikachu. And now we're going to come up here and we're going to take out him. And now this lane should be clear for us to go score, uh, score some points. So let's rock it. Now that we clear it, clear it out the lane, we didn't force anything. We're playing this one super well. So just, yo, look at my boy, yo. Greninja rocks. Greninja is rocking, even though we're frogging here right now. We're just chilling here, doing our work. Come here, yo. You want to get bubbled? You want to get bubbled? Oh, yes, sir, yo. Oh, yo, we got a lot of levels on these guys. I'm going to send this potion just so it reloads. Send my bubble this way. And I, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dang it. That's the only problem with Greninja. He's super squishy. I did get a KO on the Bulbasaur, though. We take that all day. We take that all day. We did get a KO on the Bulbasaur. And our Zorora hasn't popped out of the jungle yet. That's what I really like for a jungler to do. Instead of just like sitting in the jungle, they're supposed to like pop out there. And uh, and help out our top and bottom lanes when they're uh, fighting ally or opposing Pokemon. There we go. Now we unlock Water Shrek and that is huge. Considering this move is so good. You can move with it too. Let's see if we can actually get some damage off on these guys. Let's cancel that out. Not send it just yet. Just take out these little guys. Try to get some scoring. We got my Water Shrekken. Throw that at them. Yo, huge damage with the Water Shrekken. I love it. I love it. Let me pop this potion. Just let them do them. They're just sitting under tower, so I'm really not going to pester up on them. I'm just going to go over here and actually try to destroy Rotom. Because if you destroy Rotom, you get 20 points, and Rotom will be on your team. He will be on your he will be on your side, which is awesome. Let me just keep teeing off on this thing. Come on, Strax. Strax, help me out here. Strax, can you help me out here? Just teeing off on this thing. Strax, I'm going to need you here. Because they're going to come in here and try to steal them from us. Get rid of this thing. Can I get it? I got it. Did I, get, I, I did not get Rotom. Are you kidding me? That is embarrassing. That is whack that you can just go up there and do that. Pikachu is sleeping right now. I'm just going to tee off on him. And I'm going to dip back. Ooh. That was scary. That was real scary. Let's get some HP and chill here. Rotom's coming under the tower. How do I do that much damage and not get Rotom? Isn't that ridiculous? So we're going to take him back just by KOing him. See what we can do from there. And these guys are up here. I'm just going to actually throw my Water Shrek and that Pikachu. Get some big damage on them. 
And of course, this thing makes it to the goal zone. And now they're doing work on us. Oh, but we got these guys in a bag, baby. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Double KO for your boy. Now the lane should be open. Let's go score some points. Let's go score some points. Come on. Let's break this open. Bang, yo. We are rocking out here. We are playing really well right now. Destroy the goal zone. And now I'm just going to keep farming levels. Dude, Grand Ninja's rocking. And there's Aurora finally. We're finally seeing him a little bit. And I think that the other Pokemon are going to come up here soon. And I do have my Unite move ready to rock out, which is huge. So there's Water Shrekking over onto you. And that should be a nice big old KO. I could Unite onto him. Let's score these points real quick. And I'm going to take out this Aldino at the same time. And put in these five Pokeballs while we're here. Give me them. Give me the points, baby. So I'm going to actually tee off on this Corefish while we're here. Hey, yo, chill on me. Oh, I'm in a low flux zone. That's tough news. Let me dip out here. Yes, sir. Might have to send my potion. Nah, we're chilling. We're chilling. Actually, I still am going to send my potion just so I can start to cool down once again and have it in a little bit. But yeah, I play very passive with Greninja. Like I said, he's super squishy. Super, super squishy. So if you can actually just like chill back and uh, wait for your turn to attack. Oh, god dang. I'm going to have to send my Unite move. Are you kidding me? What just happened? Yo, where's my team at? Everybody's down in the bot lane and all four of these guys just snuck up on me and jumped me. What is going on? What is going on? Look at this, yo. They all just came over here. Oh, yo, Zavora's teeing off. Did you just get, like, a double kill? Yes, sir, Zavora. Yes, sir, Zavora. We're going to send our super jump. It's out and about, and we're going to get after these Pokemon. Yo, are you kidding me? I just hopped in there, and there was four of those guys. Got my water shrek in there. Get him out of here. I'm going to dip back a little bit. Send a nice little smoke screen. And see if I can get the KO there. Nope, Zavora got it. Yo, we thriving. Our whole team's here. Oh, let's get this. Let's get this Venusaur here. Get him. Nice move, nice move. Let's smoke screen up to him, and beautiful. Take that assist. I'll take that apple all day. Yo, and I love uh, having a defensive tank and an attacker up in a, uh, in each lane. It's just so big. It really is. And there's a Pokemon in this bush, so I'm just going to actually start ripping on him. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Come here, boy. Oh, we are pushing hard on this lane. Hopefully, these guys start sending Unite moves. I'm going to dip back a little bit and just throw my Water Shrek in. And, yo, we are just sending moves left and right. Let's get rid of this Pikachu here. Oh my lord, yo. We are teeing off, yo. Let's keep pushing up. Try to get some more points. We are dominating. There's so many Pokeballs right there. Hopefully, we can all grab them up. Yep. And try to get rid of this Bufalant. Just get some more. Yo, get this Venusaur out of my game. I don't need him here. I don't need him here. Let me Shrekin. Oh, and I didn't get the KO there. Yo, we are popping right now. So, a big part of this game is going to be uh, Zapdos. He comes out with a minute left. Oh, and yo, this Garchomp Unite moved. So, I got to watch out for him. I'm just kind of, oh, let me dip here. Send my potion here. Hey, Zorora, leave me alone. Oh, my God. I just tapped. I should have aimed that, Zorora, because I would have got some HP back. But nice little dip out from me. I'm just going to actually hit this Pokemon up just so I get a little bit more HP. And I'm going to send my Water Shrekin in here. Oh, I got him, don't I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Picking up a nice little KO there. And let me actually just dip out this way. And can I send my potion? Oh, yeah, we made a nice little escape there. Grab yourself a Citrus Berry. And Pikachu should be up here. Oh, here's Venusaur, though. I'm going to tee off on him. Pick up a KO. Yes, sir. Give me that. Light work, baby. Light work. Here's Garchomp. Throw all that at him. I'm going to dip back a little bit because I don't want to really be in his uh, range. Can someone help me out a little bit? Get some HP there. And thank you, team. And I still get that KO. And I still get that KO. Your boy is teeing off. Let me get a little bit more HP back. And our lead is huge. So now Zapdos has spawned. If you guys do not know what Zapdos does, is when you destroy him, all the defenses will go down. For the uh, opposing team. And you get a bunch of Pokeballs. <coughs> oh. I don't know why I'm coughing right now. <coughs> oh my god. It feels like there's something stuck in my throat. But I'm chilling. Give me one second, guys. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But we're popping off right here. I don't even know what that was. It just feels like there was something stuck in my throat for a quick second. So I had, had a little, little cough go. But it's all good. We're going to get... uh. Smoke screen plus, and we should be able to take out this Venusaur no problem. Let me dip over here and take him out easily. And there is Garchomp over here, or there's you, and I can just actually just go regular on him, and then Unite move over on this Pikachu, and of course I miss it. But it's all good. I should be able to get him. Get him. Yes, sir. Yo, triple kill, and now all the defenses are down for the uh, goal. But there is only one goal left, so we are thriving here. Oh, here's his reward. Yo, I need a little bit of help here. I got my Zoroar rocking up on him, who's level 15. Let's throw that, get some HP. And I'm going to dip back just a little bit. I don't want to apply too much pressure. I'm just going to keep throwing these Pokeballs at these guys. I can't really help you out too much. And I'm going to dip this way. And keep going from there. I'm liking what we're saying. I'm liking what we're doing here. 
Throw that this way. So, Roar, do you want smoke? Oh, no, he killed me. Dang it, man. But, yo, this match was complete, utter domination. Look at the goals. They didn't destroy one of our goals. And there's 30 seconds left. We have Zapdos. So there's no way they're coming back. But the big part about having Zapdos is the goals go defenseless, which means there's no timer on scoring points. So you don't have to hold it down. You just go in there, tap your X button, and it legit just dunks the balls in there. And it's double points. And it's like double points, right? Now, I think everybody gets double points with the final stretch. See? That's Aurora just cashed in 100. So like the last two minutes is a time to score big points. It really is. But that's going to be the end of the match. I believe we picked ourselves up a win playing in that top lane, which is awesome. Now I want to hop into another battle showing off Greninja in the jungle. Look at that domination. 578 to 256. Get him out of my face, yo. Beautiful battle. Let's see how we did with kill-wise and scoring-wise. Did I get MVP? Let me see. 11 kills. Wow. Yo, we, we, we did really good. And Azura was MVP because he scored the most points. But that is the goal of the jungler. The jungler is goal is to get points, help out the top and bottom lane, and score a lot. But let's hop into our second battle and show off Greninja as a jungler. Hopping into our second battle, looking to show off Greninja as a jungler. I clicked the central lane so I let everybody know that I want to be the jungler and rock out from there. But we have a Zorora on our team. And I really don't want him going jungle. I really do not want him going jungle because I just want to show this off in a video. Normally, I would let the uh, Zorora go jungle because he is just so good in the jungle and he doesn't really play top or bottom lane. But hopefully, he lets me go and lets me show off Greninja. Maybe he's like, yo, Genius is recording. Let, let, let me give him the jungle. But a lot of times, like when I'm playing ranked, I try to be jungle with Greninja. And a lot of people will just come into the jungle when you only need one jungler. You want to go two bot lane, two top lane, and one in the jungle. Like, that is the best way to win in Pokemon Unite. It's the best, like, it's just the best all around. And we have a decent team here. We have a really decent team. Lucario and Venusaur could actually split. One go top, one go bottom. Alolan and Ninetales can go with one of them, and we can just throw Zorora with one of them. But hopefully they give me the jungle. I want the jungle. I want to show it off. Because this is who I want to main. This is how I want to get after it. And I really just want to show it off for you guys and show you guys how to play Greninja. But yeah, I did get to show off his moveset really, really well. I love Bubble. Bubble right off the rip is huge because you can just get some kills with it. And then eventually get Water Shrek. And you guys saw how much damage you can do and how much HP you can actually recover as well. And we got to show off the smoke screen by using it as an attacking boost to actually get up in the battle or dipping back when we have to uh, retreat. So let's actually unlock Bubble, and I'm going to go up here. And Zorora, do not go to the jungle. Do not go to the jungle. I'm going to the jungle. No, Zorora, come on, man. Nah, I'm just going to stay jungle. I'm just going to stay jungle. You can get out of my face. You can stay out of my face. I'm playing jungle. I'm playing jungle, Zorora. Get out of here. Ludicolo is the next opponent that we want to go after. I'm not doing double jungle. You can go up in the top lane. I called this already. Get out of my face. And I'm getting all the kills. Get out of here, dude. Go to the top lane. Come on, man. Go to the top lane or something. Yo, look. He's getting smoked up by a Boofalant. Just go to the top lane already. Give me that kill. You, dude, Come on, man. Come on, yo. I don't want to split jungle. But this is exactly what I was talking about. Like, if this was a... uh, If I wasn't recording or anything, if I was playing and looking for the win... Oh, yo, our Lucario got a kill early on. That's huge. That is huge. And there goes Aurora. He's going to actually go help out the bot lane. Well, I'm going to be farming these guys. And I'm going to go hop in, hop in the top lane because we have nobody helping out in the top lane. I'm coming. I'm coming. Daddy's coming. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Yo, what are you doing under there? Chill on me, man. Let me bubble up on you. Let me dip back here. Yeah, we're going in this, this zone over here. Yeah, that slows you down there. That slows you down there, buddy. Now I'm going to keep going here. Yeah, push up against me. Push up against me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Do not push. Guys, do not push under tower like that. That was stupid of the Zorora. Gave me a free KO, and now we're rocking out. So I'm going to actually keep getting some KOs here. And yo, he's popping there. I would like to have this other Zorora come into that top lane. But I'm going to head back into the jungle real quick. Farm up some enemies. Actually, let's kill these combis. Let's kill these combis here. And then rock out from there. And then we'll head back into the jungle. There's some core fish. I'm going to get rid of them. And Zorora is back here. And I got to watch out for him. Because Zorora is super, super strong. I'm just going to keep hitting on Paul and the Zorora. Get him out of here, dude. There's another KO for you, boy. And, yo, they're coming for you, Ninetales. I'm going to keep teeing off on this uh, Charmander. And going from there. Get bubbled. And I'm going to actually dip towards you. And I'm going to send my potion. I should be able to pick up this KO, right? Yep, get him out of my face. You want this Ivysaur? I see you trying to use Giga Drain on me. Chill on me, man. Let me bubble. Let me bubble. And I'm just going to dip back into the jungle. So that's my play. Ninetales did go down. And, yo, this Lucario is teeing off. He is absolutely teeing off. Like, going nuts. So, I need to get some points, actually, considering I'm full on Pokeballs. So, I'm going to be looking for the goal. I think I'm going to head down to the bot lane and look to sneak in uh, some uh, Pokeballs. 
Let's see how this one plays out. Let's actually get some HP back while we're back here. Maybe there's a citrus berry there. And good work, Ninetales. Killing the Zawar, too. That's a huge KO. I'm going to head up here because this Lucario is pretty buffed up. And I'm going to see if I can actually score some points. Actually, let's just get rid of you. Come in there, get a kill, and then score these points, and then head to the top lane with that Ninetales. Did I not score them? What, I moved too early? That's whack. So, big points there, and now I know that there's a few Pokeballs actually uh, laying around. We have Water Shrekking now. Oh, yeah, we are boosted. We are, yo, we're going to crush this battle. Let me head back into the jungle and just play this uh, mid lane. Even though Zorora is here with me, get him out of my face. Uh, Dreadnought up here and Rotom. I'm going to go after Rotom and try to help our team get Rotom while that uh, Zorora is up there. So let me just keep teeing off on these guys. And popping off. I know there's three enemies here, so I gotta be very careful. I see Venusaur, and these guys are under tower right now. So I'm coming for you guys. Come here. Yo, Zoror, get out of my game. Zoror, get out of my game. Oh, Zoror popped the potion. Oh my god, I might be dead. Nope. Water Shrekking is huge, and we get the Zoror. Get him out of here. And now we have this little Citrus Berry. Throw that in here, and I'm just gonna chill under tower. Oh, yo, there's two of them. Let me dip back. Let me dip back, yo. He can't just move, and just keep teeing off. Throw that. Yep, and get some more HP. So they did take our base, but it's all good. The bot lane is rolling really, really strong. So I'm fine with that. I'm kind of here just pestering. Try to get rid of you. Do I have my Unite move yet? I almost have my Unite move, which is huge. I get Water Shrek, and we can actually take this thing out. Pretty close. Let's dip back a little bit and keep going with range. Oh, no way. No way that Charmeleon killed me. I should have been back a little bit and used my range a little bit better. But that one's on me. That one's on me. Is that my first death? I think it was. I think it was my first death. All right, let's keep rocking out. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving here. Let's keep grooving. All right. So I'm going to head through the jungle. And why? What are you doing in the jungle, man? What are you doing in the jungle? That's my real question. That's my real question. He did evolve, which is huge. But you shouldn't be in the jungle. I have to go score some points. I'm a jungler. I need to put up some more points on the board. Get rid of you. And we're going to keep rocking up here. They are going after Rotom, who I really want to get out of the way. They did get Rotom. You buttery biscuits. Let's actually throw this your way. And I'm just going to keep pestering. Yeah, we're going to need some help over here. We need some help. Let me dip back a little bit. I have my Unite move ready. Oh, that's some huge damage. I might Unite on him. Yep, I'm going to Unite. I missed it, didn't I? You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, man. Waste of a Unite move. Let's keep throwing these things. And Rotom is going to score some points here. Oh, yo, get him. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Let's try to get this Rotom before he actually scores points on us. Yes, yes. Get him out of our game. We don't need this Rotom here. We're going to take over him. That's going to be huge for us. Yes, okay. So we got Rotom. And I'm going to actually go try to score some Pokeballs here. While our Zorora is up there for some reason in the low speed zone. I want to actually do this and then head back into the jungle. Come here, boy. And they are actually coming in hot, so I really don't want to mess with them too, too much. If I can get some rain shots on them. We got to watch out for that Charizard. Charizard gets Unite moves real easily. Did I get him? Oh my god, we're dead, aren't we? Dip! Send this. Get some HP back. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I need, I need to find a chance to score here. We definitely need it. Big KO from Ninetales. Get rolling here. Let me get my HP. And we're just going to keep trying to level up here. Come here, Vespa Queen. Come here, Vespa Queen. All right. So let's kill these wild Pokemon. Get some more XP. Level up. And try to make a push happen. I might hide in the bushes. Oh, there's these guys. Buttery Biscuit. Throw that around. And Zoror might go down here. I oh, know. We're teeing off here. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Let me boost up here. And we are rocking. Yo, Zoror uses all. That was perfect. Let's go get some points now. Let's go score some points. Considering I have 27 Pokeballs. I'm going to score these. Venusaur, what are you doing? Score your Pokeballs, man. You have 40 of them. You have 40 of them. Enter Warrior is coming from the bot lane, so I got to watch out for you. Step back here. I'm going to need some help here. Nine tails. Nine tails. Come on, can I get the KO? Can I get it? Yes, sir. Huge KO from us. Uh, let's step back, get some HP, and then head back up into the lanes. Head back up into the lanes. But we are... I don't know. This is a close battle. Rotom did spawn, which is huge, and these guys are coming after us, and we have numbers. We have numbers, baby. There's KO for me, and we should be able to get rid of this Charizard, too. Now, let's push up. Yes, sir, yo. Or we can kill this. Let's kill this Rotom. Let's get this Rotom. Yes, yeah, Zoror knows. Zoror knows. Let's get this Rotom out the way. Rotom is a huge advantage for us, especially while their uh, enemies are away. We're dead. We'll tee off on this and be able to get this, and Rotom can help us push up to the base. And we have nobody in the bot lane. Oh, we have a huge lead. That is awesome. So right now, I'm kind of just sitting in the top lane because there's no need for us to go into the jungle. But jungle is really just like a nice little starting position. So let's push up here. I have my ult ready to rock. And here comes Venusaur. Let's step here. And I'm just going to send my ult move onto you and dip back here. Throw that. And I keep saying right here. 
Can I get him out the way? Oh, we are teeing off on him. Oh my god, I just missed him. But we got some Pokeballs. Rotom scores 20 points. We score a nice little 13. And now that zone is defenseless for a little bit. So he's going to go score his 50 bomb. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zorora's coming up here from up against him. And I got to watch out for him. I'm probably going to dip back a little bit. Let's actually go this way. Let's dip. E. Throw my water shrekens and cut back into the jungle. All right, beautiful. We are chilling, yo. And alone, nine tails just scored a bunch of points. Let's send my potion and go from there. All right, cool. Send my water shrekens to get some more HP back. Yo, you get a good amount of HP when you use that, which I love. Let's see if I can sneak through the jungle and actually get this Pokemon. Zapdos is here. I'm going to actually go try to kill Zapdos. Because I feel like that's the only way they win is if they get Zapdos. So let me tee off on Zapdos here. I got to watch out for the flank. Really don't want to mess with it. Really don't want to mess with the flank. Keep doing that. There are water shrekens and keep rocking out, dude. We're playing really well right now. A little upset we didn't get the jungle by ourselves, but at least we did get to show off the premise of the jungle. They are scoring some points, but dude, I need some help over here. I don't want to waste. All right, never mind. I'm going up there. If nobody wants to go fight Zapdos, these guys are going to come in here and probably run and get some points. So I'm going to go up here for defense. And I think we have a lead because it did say we had a huge lead. So I think we should be fine by doing this. Let's go over here. Zorora's picking up a KO, and there should be an another Pokemon over here. There you go. There's double KO. Let's go kill Zapdos. Yes. Yes, boys. Let's roll up. Let's roll up. Let's get it. All right. All right. Here's Zapdos. Let's see off on him. Because, again, the only way I think they win this battle is if they kill Zapdos. And we should be fine just by teeing off on him and rocking out from there. Bang. Get him out of our game. Give me Zapdos. The Zapdos is going to be huge. All the gold zones are going to be defenseless. So we can walk straight up there and get after it. So the gold zones are defenseless. I'm going to go up this way and score some points. Me and the Savora. Me and the Savora. Give me some HP back. Give me some HP back. So look. I'll give you guys an example of defense. Oh, he's just going to break it. Look, he just goes in there and taps it. Bang. And I'm going to walk up onto the bigger one and just go in there and tap it. Even if I die, I'm going to make sure we get this win and secure it. Bang. 100 points. Bink. Let's go, baby. And oh, yo, is this guy FK? Get him out of here. This guy quit. We made him We made him quit. We made him quit. Is there any other... other where did the team go? <laughs> where did they go? What happened? Oh, they're all dead. They're about to all come out. They're all dead. They're on the timer. Here they come. I'm going to be able to set a unite move here. Let's unite this guy. Yeet. Bang. Big old damage. And we should be able to maybe pick up a KO. Oh, no. Yo, the Lucario stole from a 632 to 246. What a game. And what a way to show off Greninja. That is awesome. Let's see how we did. Because I, I thought we played pretty well. Did we only die once? I think we died once to that uh, Charmeleon. Look at that. Look at that. Solid points as a jungler. I did the exact role that I need to do. Zoror did just as well as me. He went 9 and 8. I went 9 and 7. And he got a few more Pokeballs. So we both played jungle there. And we both put up our numbers and did exactly what we were supposed to do. So guys, that is how you play Greninja in the jungle and top lane. And we also got to show off the build set for this Pokemon. Hopefully this video was informative and helped you out with your Greninja gameplay. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you press the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.